319, June 12th. Like I said, never measure credibility by the pocket. It seems like some of you guys are still measuring credibility by the pocket. Some of you are measuring credibility and putting your trust in occupational status. If these people you're trusting are involved with the crimes I'm a victim of, if these people you're trusting are involved with the crimes I'm a victim of, they're corrupt. Never trust corrupt people. Even if they once had occupational status or once were respectable, they're no longer respectable. They're involved with oppression. They're financing slavery, sexual slavery, organized crime, terrorism, RICO. They're involved with the sexual slavery ring of an autistic guy and trying to murder him to cover it up. That screams corruption. They're stealing from a victim of organized crime, RICO, terrorism, sexual slavery, sexual violence, sexual oppression, sexual abuse, uh, highly illegal, unethical, inhumane human experimentation, breaches of Nuremberg Code, illegal weapons testing, and use. They're actually stealing from a victim of these crimes, knowing I'm a victim of these crimes. Some of them are even involved with these crimes. Why would you ever trust a corrupt son of a bitch like that? You would be a fucking idiot. Whoever's involved with these crimes screams Satan, screams Hitler, screams oppressor, screams never trust this motherfucker because he's a fucking lunatic and a murderer. That's what you should be seeing. If you're not, you're being blinded by Benjamin. You're being blinded by promises of opportunity. The people involved with the crimes I'm a victim of are grade A Hitler-esque entities. Some of the most corrupt motherfuckers you'll ever encounter in your life. And it should scream to you, never trust these fucking lunatics. Unless you're a fucking idiot. Wake up, praise Jesus.